Welcome to what's new at AWS. Amazon Data Firehose has added message extraction feature for decompressed CloudWatch logs. Let's explore it quickly. To save you time, I have already set up three Firehose streams, each mapped to a different S3 buckets as its destination. Stream 1, decompression is turned off. Stream 2, only decompression is enabled. And for Stream 3, new message extraction feature is turned on. I have also created a Lambda function specifically to generate logs which will appear in CloudWatch logs. For the corresponding CloudWatch log group, I have created two Firehose subscription filters as up to two are allowed at log group level. This subscription filter will stream logs to the corresponding Firehose stream which will in turn ship logs to configured S3 destination. Now hit the lambda test button a few times to generate some logs. Refresh the S3 bucket to confirm log shipments. Copy the S3 URI and download the logs from depression off bucket. Do the same from second S3 bucket and we'll compare all this later. Let's delete one subscription filter to make room for our third Firehose stream. Create a new Firehose subscription filter. Choose the message extraction on Firehose stream. Select appropriate role, provide filter name and click start streaming. Hit lambda test buttons few times again to generate few new logs. Open message extraction on bucket, copy S3 URI and download the log file in local. In the first scenario, decompression turned off, logs are shipped to S3 as ggp compressed files. I need to use zcat to print the content or gzip followed by cat command. In the second scenario, decompression on, logs are shipped without compression, so you can directly view them using cat command. And finally, in the third scenario, message extraction enabled, you will see only the message data, no other header information such as message type, owner, log groups or log events will be included. This new message extraction feature will help you to reduce subsequent processing and storage cost and this comes free if you are already using Firehose Click Compression. That's it for today's update. If you got value out of this video, hit the like and subscribe button and happily float on the cloud.